So did you know that iron is flammable? But have you ever tried to light a piece of iron on fire? It doesn't work very well. So I'm not crazy, here's what I mean. Normal pieces of steel or iron that you find lying around have a very small surface area to volume ratio. So when you try to burn it, there's not enough oxygen around in the atmosphere to burn it. But if you can increase that surface area to volume ratio, then you can get some burning action. So watch this. This is a piece of steel wool that has a very large surface area to volume ratio. So this is steel, just like the steel I tried to burn a couple minutes ago. But when I light it on fire, you can see it easily burns and turns into iron oxide. This is actually one of the main reasons why you see sparks fly off when you grind steel or iron. You're knocking off very small chunks of iron that oxidize in the atmosphere and start burning. Another way that you can get even more intense burning of iron is to increase the amount of oxygen that's flowing around the iron. So with my steel wool, if I were to flow a lot of oxygen around it, I would get really intense heat. So I decided to come up with an awesome spark thrower experiment. So what I've done here is taken a regular egg beater and I jimmy rigged it to the end of my leaf blower. And the goal here is to expose the steel wool to a lot of oxygen flowing around it. And what better than a leaf blower to blow a bunch of air around it. Okay, so I have steel wool in here. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the air blower, blow a lot of oxygen over it, and it should start throwing sparks everywhere and not light anything else on fire, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> Test number one. Should I be this close? That the steel gets amazingly hot super fast. You can see it amasses into one molten glob at the end, around 1400 degrees Celsius, the melting point of steel. Okay, here's test number two. Here we go. Spark thrower number three. Got it? Yeah. Don't even at me. <laughs> okay, my wife gave me a great idea. She was wondering if I could make it colored. So I got some potassium hydroxide. I'm going to mix it in with the steel wool and see if we can get some, it should be a kind of purplish flame if it burns, so we'll see, Let's see what happens. Okay, this is spark thrower with potassium. No purple. Yeah, Negative on the purple. That's wonderful. It's going to eat through the earth. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and feel free to ask me any science questions that you have in the comments below and I'll try to get to them. Thanks, see you next time.